All right, take two. Take two, guys. We just finished our work for the day since we're working remotely. I've got everything I think I need to draw blood today. So I've got my helpers getting dressed inside. So it's gonna be like a needle rodeo, I guess. I, I'm, yeah, it's gonna be a needle rodeo because the goats are gonna be fighting. I'm gonna have a needle and I'm gonna try not to stick my husband. To try not to stick him, guys. Oh, and you guys see, look, it's clean. We got it all clean in here. We're clean and we did reconfigure back here. And you'll notice now, where is she at? Tootsie's in with our 4-H weather. Why? Because Tootsie is just too friendly for her own good. And we're really hoping it rubs off on him because he's just a little bit flighty. He's coming around though, we're getting on. We're working really well with him, but I have noticed he's flighty, so we're hoping that the, the good part of her will rub off and eliminate the I, bad part of him, so. All right guys, stick with me. We're getting our stuff ready and we will be drawing blood soon. It's important before you blood draw to make sure all of your stuff is together so you guys can see. I've got all of my little tubes to send it off, which I bought those from UBRL. Um, they were actually pretty cheaply, cheaply priced. So I got those and I'll be putting on my needles now with all my syringes so that literally when we go in there and Mark grabs one, it'll be like working a line. I'll already have it ready, stick, draw, and then put them here into these um, red tubes. And we'll write the name of each goat on the tube so that when we send in the samples, the lab will be able to tell us pearl pot tested negative. They're all gonna test negative, guys. I'm, <laughs> they all better test negative. I'm a little stressed about this, so. All right, let's get to it. So I got my setup ready here right outside. I've got my metal pail so I can throw the spent syringes in there um, along with the needles. And then I've got this little feed bucket where I'll be putting my blood samples in a jar in here. You can see I've got the empty ones that are all bundled and ready here. And then I've got all syringes that are bagged up and ready to go here along with a handy dandy marker so I can name whose um, blood is in each vial. So. And the natives are restless. Step one was to bait them in here. Step one complete. For how to hold them, right? Yep. Between my legs and up and over. Like this. As you can see here, Mark has the dough between his legs. I'm putting pressure down at the bottom near her breastbone while Mark holds her head up and turns it slightly to the side so that I can find her jugular vein. That's what I'm doing there with my thumb is trying to figure out where that jugular vein runs. It balloons up nice while I'm holding the pressure. I'm inserting the needle upwards and slowly drawing blood out, trying to make sure to hit the vein but not go through. And as you guys can see here, the other goats did not make that easy. We we're being molested the whole time. Blackberry was a lot easier than I thought she'd be. You guys can watch her nice and air backed. I'll put it this way so you guys can see it. Look at that. Now for these guys, you need about two milliliters for this test and almost all test sites will tell you how much they need in order to get a really good reading. So there's the first spent one. There's that. Where's my marker? There it is. And we'll write Blackberry. They're biting my fingers. Okay. Here's Blackberry. This little guy is just he so... He loves it. He is going to be such a nice little weather. Too bad he's going to be a weather. But he'll be good for it because he's so friendly. Mm -hmm. It might be a good idea to do this away from your other goats. As you can see, Tiger Lily's chewing on my hat. Apollo comes around, gets up between my arms, 
reaches up and soon you're going to see that he's going to end up biting me in the neck while Tiger Lily is in the way. And there he goes, guys. He's biting. So a good practice may be to move the other goats out of the way while you're doing this. You guys see we're being molested. I got bit. He got his drawstring eaten. It might be good <laughs> to put the rest of them away. So guys, we're actually, okay, I got my camera way down here. Um, so the needles that we're using are actually 18 gauge. Well, with the kit, it comes with a different set and I'll show you that, but they're 18 gauge, whereas the kit comes with a 20. I just have had better luck with an 18 gauge. So that's just what I go with. You guys do what works best for you. Okay, so we actually got everybody done except for one doe. And it's like, she let me find her jugular get the needle just in place and then the needle rodeo started. So we just kind of went ahead and gave up on her for now. It's too late in the day anyways. I can't ship these blood. So look, I'm looking all at, ooh, yes. Um, I can't ship those this late in the day, so I'll have to put them um, in the refrigerator and then get them ready to pack up and go tomorrow. And hopefully they'll make it to California in time for their Thursday testing. So that's what we're gonna be doing tomorrow. But I don't know if you guys noticed, um, Mark, when he was holding those for me, he was holding them up and turned to the side because you'll see when I was putting pressure down here, it's to make this jugular vein pop out. So when I put pressure down here and he turns the head to the side, it makes that jugular balloon and it makes it a lot easier to find and get a needle in it and pull blood a lot quicker. So little Miss Pearl, was just sucking her jugular right back in there at the end or waiting until I was right on it and then decided rodeo needle time so we're just gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator but I think that's gonna do it for us today guys it's beautiful out today we got our spring cleaning done we've got a lot of our maintenance done so now it's just on pinky baby watch 2020 so I'm hoping that they'll come soon but um, if I know my toes are gonna hold the hostages a little longer than I'd like, I wouldn't be surprised if she went past her due date, but she's so big and she's not a first timer, so she could very well go before her um, due date, which I'm all for that, so that I can have little babies to hug on again. Not that I don't have a whole bushel, but still. So if you found yourself enjoying our video at any point, please go ahead, drop us a like. Let us know you liked us. Let YouTube know that you liked us and maybe other people would like us too. Go ahead and subscribe if you felt the need. We love new subscribers. And more importantly, drop a comment. I love talking with everybody. If you have any questions or comments, we love looking at them. Um, but until next time, guys, I think that's going to do it for us here on Mulberry Branch Farm. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>